Now you're going to just love this motion sensor security light. How do I know? Because many people who buy this product are so impressed they order a second one, even a third one. Your days of fumbling for keys or worrying about intruders are over. And best of all, you don't have to worry about power bills either. All you have to do is install it. Here's what you're going to need before you start. Safety glasses, tape measure, a level, Phillips screwdriver, drill bit, drill, ladder and a soft cloth. Now assembly is quite easy. Now you need to find the right place to install your solar panel. It needs to get direct sun exposure from the sun for six to eight hours each day for maximum efficiency. Be careful it's not shaded by trees, bushes, walls, awnings or any other obstructions. It can be no more than five meters away from the light because that's all the cable you've got. Now place the base of the solar panel onto the surface you want to mount it on. Mark the centers of the hole and drill two one to two millimeter pilot holes into the surface diagonally. If mounting on a drywall, mark the centers of the mounting holes and drill three four millimeter pilot holes and install the drywall anchors. Tap them in until they are flush with the drywall surface. Fasten the solar panel onto the mounting surface using the long screws provided. Okay, now the solar panel is secure, it's time to install the light fitting. Choose a spot about two meters above the ground. Avoid areas that reflect a lot of heat, such as near pool water or reflective white walls. Watch out, there is nothing close that by that could activate the sensor, such as tree branches. Do not mount it behind a window. The sensor will not detect heat or motion through the glass or plastic. Press the button on the easy mount to release it from the lights. Place the easy mount where you want to mount it and mark the holes as you did into the surface. Drill three pilot holes, insert the anchors and tap them until they're flush with the surface. Now fasten the rear housing cover to the mounting surface with the wooden screws. Now slide on the LED motion security light, either left or right. Now we're going to connect the panel and the lights together. Unwind the cord on the solar panel to reach the security light. Wind up any excess cord and bind it with the clip. Don't cut or pierce this cable. Remove the small rubber cap from the DC input at the bottom of the light and plug in the jack. The little plastic clips and screws are there if you need to secure the cord to a wall, fence or any other surface to keep it tidy. Once everything is installed and the power is on, the security light will come on continuously for one to 10 minutes to let you know the wiring and the installation is successful. Leave it alone and avoid going into its detection range until it goes off by itself. Once it's gone off, you can proceed with the final step. Almost there, now all we need to do is tweak the range setting. Start by aiming the motion detector 10 degrees below horizontal. Walk in the area to be detected. When your motion is detected, the lights will come on. Move to a different spot in the area to be tested and stop all motion for about eight seconds. The light should turn off. Start walking again to see if your motion is detected in the new spot. Repeat the walk test in other spots to determine the coverage area. If a greater range is desired, raise the motion detector head slightly and test the coverage area again. I'll just let you know that the detector cannot detect the area directly below it. When you are satisfied with the area of coverage, move on to the final step of adjusting the dusk and time settings, which I'll show you next. This is the dusk level light setting, which is used to control the desired amount of light level for the motion security light to trigger and turn on. You can set the light to dusk level setting, which is used to control the desired amount of light level for the motion security light to trigger and turn on. You can set the light to only turn on in darkness by turning the setting fully counterclockwise or allow the security light to trigger during daylight as well as by turning the setting fully clockwise. Of course, you can set it anywhere between according to how much light you want it to function at. This is the time setting. It is used to control the time span which the light is on when the motion is detected. If you turn the light fully in the negative position, the light will remain off. 
you can increase the time span from a, from a minimum of five seconds to a maximum of five minutes by turning the time switch clockwise. It's a very good idea to know how to replace the battery, even though it's very unlikely that you'll ever need to do it. Remove the battery cover by unscrewing the screw on the back of the release battery cover case. Carefully remove the battery, then remove the connectors from the battery. Replace the battery reconnecting the white wire to the positive terminal, which is the red section, and the blue wire to the negative terminal, which is the black section. Remount the battery cover. Match the cover to the case, then fasten the screw. So that's all there is to it, very simple. If you have any problems with your motion detection solar light, remember that Deals Direct is here to help. You can ask questions from their live chat from 8am until midnight. I'm Andy Rocher and I hope I have been of some help. May you sleep peacefully knowing that your motion sensor light will ward off any intruders while providing you with all the light you'll ever need. See you later.